People are starting to return their Vision Pros. Who would have thought a $3,500 headset might get returned? I'm surprised they even allow it, to be honest. So you got two weeks from the day you get the, the headset. And the number one complaints were comfort, headache, eye strain, and also nausea. Which, um, if you ever had a headset before, these things are all kind of common with all of them. So I don't blame Apple for these, these like discomforts because a lot of people have them with a lot of headsets like VR is not for everybody it's all how your body like reacts to seeing a, a very like when it comes down to it you're seeing a very close picture very close to your eyes and it can be very nauseating um, there are times where I was in I'm in the VR headset and I still get waves of nausea but I know what it is so I don't like freak out some people freak out on that does it but subside easily? It, I think it subsides. Like, granted, you got to get, like, your bearings a little bit. So if you're moving your head around a lot or if, like, the pitcher is moving up and down and around, it's kind of like seasickness, right? Like, you get kind of that feeling like, ooh, that feels a little weird. Like, like uh, you know, yeah. not to the point where I'm going to vomit, but you definitely feel that, like, Queasy. queasiness. Yeah. Because um, your brain's, like, kind of playing tricks on you and your eyes are playing tricks on you. So it doesn't it, it doesn't feel normal. But once you get used to it, it's not so bad. I also don't blame these folks because if you're getting into VR now, yeah, with Apple, you're a filthy casual. Like, so this is just like Apple's jumping into a, a realm that they're not familiar with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they they don't do this. So their fan base probably don't do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they probably jumped in to the deep end with these guys and like Oh, I hate it for, or they they probably try to wear it for six hours at a time. You know what I mean? Did some stupid shit that other people have already worked out the bugs for. You know? Right. And I agree with you. They're they're probably that's the weird thing about Apple users is um, if you're an Apple user, you generally aren't a gamer first of all, and um, so getting this VR headset would be the first reason you have a reason to get a headset because it's not based around games it's more based around a user interface that's interactable so yeah if you've never used a vr headset and you're jumping into this of course you're gonna feel like the nausea and stuff like that for the first time you're gonna feel it because like i think everybody's felt it but it also just proves that us as an apple fan base are fucking the worst sheeple yeah we're just like getting it because it's apple and you're like dude if you really wanted a fucking headset this isn't the one you go with Thirty-five hundred. That's what I'm saying. I would say get your get one of the Meta Quests first. Even get the Quest Two. Try that out and see if you even enjoy having the headset on. Because I heard you can't even watch porn on these ones. No, you can't. That was a big story too. We'll get we'll get to that. Um. So yeah, you can return the Apple headset uh, within 14 days of purchase. Uh, comfort is one of the most cited reasons for return because a lot of the all the hardware is in the front of the headset and they're saying the headband that's included this one right here that they're showing in the picture doesn't really support the front of the headset it kind of all rests on the front of your face mm. so that's been one of the biggest complaints there is a second headband that's included that i guess goes over the top no that's the one you had to pay for remember is it extra yeah well, it's when, extra. when we broke it down i think it was like 40 bucks or something. yeah um I personally would wear that one, even though this one looks cooler and is probably c more comfortable. It, I'd rather have yeah. it not resting on my face, though. I'd rather the weight be on the top of my head than on my face. Yeah, it's it. Someone had a blessed eye vessel. Yeah, it says the Verge product manager told me that he thought using the device led to a burst blood vessel in his eye. He looked like the, the teacher from Daria. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> with the eye bulging. Yeah. <laughs> At least one other person noticed they had a, noted they had a similar experience with redness, um, but again, also another VR problem. Um, eye strain, headaches. But this guy had a point here. He goes, "If I'm not using this for productivity, and if I don't love it for entertainment, and if there are not enough games to play on it, I just can't justify keeping it." And that makes sense. Yeah, well, that's what we were saying. That was before. my yeah. thought about it. I'm like, it's really cool. I would borrow someone else's to try it out. But there's no fucking way I'd spend $3,500 on this thing because, A, I wouldn't want to be, you know, watching movies and stuff like that might be cool on a plane or something like that. But when you're in your house, 
like you don't want to be in the same room with like your wife or your kids and you're just watching a movie by yourself like on your headset that doesn't make sense that's sociopath be here yeah also there was a big thing on porn not being able to work on there i'm sure i'm sure you could open safari and open up any number of sites to watch it in native uh it's native format but i think it was the vr porn specifically that's not compatible with the headset so the the vr porn takes advantage of like 3d aspects and then obviously it gives you like a full room visual kind of thing and i guess that's not compatible with the headsets i mean you can obviously open a browser and watch like a porn site that's not a problem it's funny that like that's (laughs) the numbers are out with how much the u.s watches porn right so it's clearly something that's important to a demographic but the verge isn't going to talk about that probably right like even though they're probably it's probably the second thing they fucking tested yeah you know what i mean first they're like okay uh ui okay no porn <laughs> yeah uh i'd suggest if you want to learn more about the vision pro check Give out marquis instead check out mkbhd check out marquis's so marquis cool. brownlee's videos he's done like four of them now i think four or five breakdown videos of this thing and he says you know he points out obvious things what are the issues he just recently did a comparison with the meta quest 3 um no thinking about getting it but he's with the meta quest mm-hmm. i mean for the price i hear it's a good it's it's good i mean 500 bucks or 3500 bucks i just like it one and i'm an apple fanboy but one Jesus will, Christ, will, will, will cost you like a month's worth of pays and the other will cost you like a whole year's yeah. worth of pay. You know what I mean? Like not pay, but having to pay off that. Yeah. That you know, for an average person, thirty five hundred dollars is insane. I can buy a motorcycle for thirty five hundred dollars. Yep. That means I can get to work without need- needing a second car. You know. Anyway, I'm just for thirty five hundred dollars is a month's rent. It's probably two months' rent for most people. Jeez. Not here, not in Hawaii. Oh, I was like, That's... Not in Hawaii, but in general, I think on the mainland, your, pro- your rent it realistically would be around sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot more returns, and I think there's going to be people realizing, okay, this is cool to watch a movie or pinch and move things around, but um, also a lackluster feature of it that would be a big negative for me is we're running a podcast with three screens right now. Mm-hmm. The vision only lets you have one screen in front of you. Uh, no multi-screen function. Does the other ones have? Like, does yours have? Um, I don't think so. But you don't, again, you don't get it for that, though. You don't necessarily get, like, a meta quest for production work. You get it for, you get games. It for games. Yeah, you get it for fun stuff. You know, you're usually, um, Marquis putting it out was the social aspect of it is totally lacking. There's no games or anything where you can be in the same room with somebody else even if it's like across the internet or whatever you know say cool to play like pickleball or yeah something say or something. your brother's on it in california and you're on it here you guys can be in a game together and playing something together the, the this doesn't offer that so if you're into the the whole social aspect of things aside from the 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 calls the facetimes the anti-social social club then then you're not really interacting with people, which is kind of, that's the thing. Meta has a lot of benefits and it's a social, they're based off Facebook, which is a social network. Apple's the worst social network. (laughs) Apple's not really about like connecting people. And it's kind of weird. And maybe I'm wrong. Do you disagree? You're an Apple user. So I don't know. No, I don't disagree at all. No, no. They literally, at least the past like decade, it's all about making minute changes that no one fucking asked for. Yeah. And like making it more confusing for the user. I like the 1% that really are Apple fanboys and shit that are like, oh my God, now you can do this one hyper fucking focused thing by default. And then the rest of us are like, wait, by default, I didn't fucking want it. I've never done that. Why the fuck do I want to do that? Yeah. And now it's the default. So I got to go into the settings and fucking find. I got to Google how to fucking take this shit off when I didn't ever fucking want it in the first place. Fucking dumb. Apple, you're fucking up. You're lucky I'm part of the cult because you're fucking up. Fucking up. 
this is obviously just like I wouldn't call it a cash grab, but you it's should. like a test it base, right? They know by selling these things for thirty five hundred dollars, there are gonna be people who return it. But the people who keep it are gonna fund the next thing that's gonna come out. All this is gonna be is when someone comes to your house, hey, you know I got that. Yeah. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, 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 that's cool. And maybe five percent of the people that they show buy it, but at thirty five hundred bucks, maybe But after a while you're gonna be like, Okay, what else can I do? And you're gonna be like <laughs> No. Well, dude, I can move around windows in a room and I can like use my computer on my headset instead of like just in front of me. And then it, it, it's going to the luster is going to wear off. Like, I think they're doing some really good things conceptually, but this is totally like alpha but or like, beta version. Even, shit. even with shit like the Tesla, right? Yeah. Even the features that it was saying were coming out. Where at least like, ooh, that sounds fucking dope. Yeah. Nothing the fuck this thing was doing had me going, oh, I got to see that. I mean, the car can drive itself. And it can park itself. And you can can play games on the screen. And I'm not even all sold (laughs) on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now this fucking little gadget is like, yeah, it's a fucking headache. I, you know, I, I. Not that I would have went out and bought one, but I did. I wanted one, obviously, because it was a cool thing. Just because, even though I'm not an Apple fanboy at all, I'm anti Apple, if anything. But I wanted to see the tech involved in what they did. You know what I mean? But now I've seen everybody else using it, and I'm like, it's like a glorified PDA. You know what I mean? To me, where you're like, I can, okay, great. I can do production work on my, on a bigger monitor, you know? Or I can call my friends over FaceTime with a fake looking avatar. Did you see the avatars? That it makes you your avatar. It doesn't show your face. It shows an avatar of your face. That's dumb. Yeah. Oh, on the outside screen or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, that's dumb. So. That's straight up false advertising. They, and then also they, they, they said that seem- eye. You remember how they were showing the eyes in the front yeah. all the time? A lot of them said that's not even a. That's it doesn't even work half the time. Yeah. So basically, yeah, this is what like So this is what your face looks like before, and then this is what it would like look like inside the face the no, FaceTime call. That's like best case scenario. That's what it looks like. Yeah. From what I heard, it doesn't look like that at all. It looks hella weird. Gosh, okay, we were just debating like what is what's what's your hair stripe gonna look like? I it's I mean you it kinda looks blended out, right? It doesn't get the spikiness, but it's there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What do you think about the shape, though? Look at his hair. Oh, I mean, with... actually, y- your hair and my hair is kind of like the same shape, Mark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. It's, we kind of got a little cone, like a little bit of cone head act. So it does track your eyes, which is kind of neat. It does track where you're, like, looking. And then I guess um, when you're looking at one person, you get the you get a different angle than the other. Like, so there's three of them, right? So her angle of him is different than his angle of him. And then when you see like a left hand or a right hand, only one person will see it. So there's like certain things it does that's kind of trippy. But these are, if you know what he looks like in real mm. life, that's not a greatest. And I think skin color is probably an issue for the for the FaceTime thing, for the avatar thing. I think he even said it himself that that it skin color is, right is an issue. Action going up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But, um, there's so I much mean- teeth too. There's a lot of teeth. You notice, and a lot of people yeah. don't talk with a lot of teeth. And it's better than anyone else has been able to do my hair so far. So, you know, like there, you'll never be able to get like a, a stripe in it. So, I, oh, I'm like, this is cool. But the face I, stuff is kind of wild. I'm just yeah. like still. The faces are impressive. I think. <laughs> right. Very, very. It's it's just no, at Marquise the edge of uncanny any... valley. But the mouth his looks his terrible. his mouth isn't making any shape. Yeah, it's not it's moving. Just going up and down. Up and down. Like mm. I know mm. what you guys look like, so I know that they look like you. Like the facial hair. Because have you ever tried to design a character like in a two K game? Yeah. Like you try, you really try yeah, like as hard really, as you can to like, get it looking, it and it like. never quite looks like you. This in what did it take you? A minute? Maybe. Yeah, basically. Had to do a few tries. A few scans. <laughs> After a few. Yeah, but the yeah. hard part too is the hair too, especially for me, because it's like you had to have the perfect amount of separation between like your mm. face 
and the ears because it kept like blurring to the side of my face. Oh, that's so, interesting. I feel like I can do better, but at this point I was like, we're done. We're going to go with this. But, but <laughs> it, like, whatever you scan yourself in, like that's what you're wearing. So it's like, yeah. my necklace is crooked. I was like, oh, I need to <laughs> that's fix right. that. That's so cool. <laughs> that's so part of you neat. now. That's yeah. part of yeah. your persona. I think that when I did my first scan, my, I, I, you know, when you don't really know what you're doing, I think I kind of looked a little more cross-eyed because you're kind of like staring dead center at this thing. But I, I like did a second. Like, show, yeah, I was showing the hands there yeah, too. The scan, and then I'm like, oh, my eyes kind of look. I don't know how to explain it. There's sometimes a little bit when we look at each other. There's times where like I even see Marquez's one of his eyes kind of goes in a little more that that so it's it's almost like it's just like off a little bit. I don't know if that's because our original scan like Justin, right. your eyes are your eyes are pretty on the money. Like, but my I don't know if you know. I'm not saying Marquez is cross eyed, but I've seen this with other people where that initial first photo scan, how you're staring, determines a little bit of like a little bit of the placement of the eyes. Oh yeah, okay. no, I, I was struggling with that, but I know what you mean. So you kind of don't look at the camera; you look past it, like look kind of like at like whatever like something further away because mm. mine was also doing the weird like kind of cross eyed <laughs> thing. I was like, oh man, we gotta figure this out. <laughs> right. Okay, I guess I have to try it then. If I actually cross my eyes, does does it, this look? It's like a tiny. Are you crossing them now? Yeah. Okay, no, they're not crossing. Oh man, okay, that's too bad. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's just a, it's hard to explain. It's just a tiny bit. Yeah. So that's what it looks like inside the the Vision Pro head. I don't when know. You're calling guy somebody. looks cool though. I mean, it captures most of the features. Which I, I would assume they're not talking about it, but I assume it's harder to do with Asian people. And it's kind of yeah, it's kind of interesting. The hand the hand stuff's kind of interesting. The hands are stupid. It, that, was it, that was so yeah, yo, I hate those hands. Yeah. Okay, okay, like here, like here. You see it right now, Marquez? Now yeah. here just no. so you can see. Yeah, this oh, is wait, wait, oh, that's, okay, good are. test. So wait, Justine, do you see this? Yes. And Brian, I don't do see you? that. I don't see Whoa. that, Marquez. Now wait, so now Brian, do you oh. see this? Now I can see that Marquez, yeah. That's crazy. Whoa. I just literally oh, like, pointed how, oh, it. Okay, okay, like here, like here. You see it right now, Marquez? Now here, yeah. just no. so you can see. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so wait, Brian, do you see this? Now I now I do better. Okay, Marquez, do you see this? Now it's at me. Yeah. Yeah. This is Wild. Uh, that's sick. Wow. Oh I didn't even God. think about that. Like this. Just so that's kind of trippy, but I'm not paying thirty five hundred dollars for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's weird. It like if you call if you FaceTime somebody with this, you're like, well, what kind of AI programming are you using right now? Because this kind of reminds me of the stuff we were talking about earlier with the shooting. Yeah. The, it kind of looks like this. This is kind of what they look like. Oh, and then, uh, what if Apple is keeping your face your apple's some keeping your face your ai face somewhere yeah on their on their network right as i said every time you log in it's like that um granted anybody can probably make it if you're if you have enough photos or whatever on the internet they probably make shit of you no matter what but good on the outside um, um they look interesting i had my i had my wife get her reactions of ice <clears throat> yeah so that's just a <laughs> Just a little clip of Dumb. what it looks like when you're FaceTiming someone in the headset. And uh, Mark Zuckerberg responded to it, too, with a video. So here's what Zuck had to say. Zuck already looks like an alien. Yeah. This is what the, the AI robot himself had to say about the All whole right, guys. thing. So that's, I finally that's tried playing fucking Apple's Johnny Pro. Storm. Oh, my God. It <laughs> kind of does look like him. Fuck that guy. And, you know, I have to say that before this... I expected that Quest would be the better value for most people since it's really good and it's like seven times less expensive. Uh, but after <laughs> using it, I don't just think that Quest is the better value. I think that Quest is the better product, period. And you know, the different companies made different design decisions for the headsets, they have different strengths. But overall, Quest is better for the vast majority of things that people use mixed reality for. Now, my friend Kenny is actually capturing this video on Quest's high resolution mixed reality pass through right now. We're, we're just here in my living room and you, know, you can see his, his browser windows and you know, whatever else he's got running up here. Uh, so yeah, Quest 3 does high quality pass through with big screens, uh, just like Vision Pro. But we also designed it to be great for a lot of other things. Uh, moving around, playing games, um, hanging out with friends and socializing, working out um, and more. Quest, you know, I think is just a lot more comfortable. Um, you know, we designed it to weigh 120 grams less, which makes a really... Uh, I want to be able to fast forward through this, sorry. We tried Apple's Can Vision Pro. Ah. Dude, he's, he is AI now. And, you know, I have to person. say that before... Yeah. Well, blah, blah, blah. He thinks the Quest is better. And there, there's fair, fair enough trade-offs with each one, right? Like, uh... 
the Quest Three is made more for games and fun stuff. Where the, I guess Apple's thought was productivity. <laughs> is that worth an extra three thousand dollars? <laughs> you know. And Apple's gonna do Apple. I think if Apple, I think if Apple released this realistically at like maybe fifteen hundred dollars, then maybe, maybe it would have more of a case. That's still, the cost of they're talking productivity, but you could do more with fifteen hundred, buying one of their <coughs> other products like an iPad Pro or yeah. Well, a MacBook. Okay, yeah. so a MacBook Pro, let's say an M3 MacBook Pro, will cost you close to two grand. Yeah. So I would say put it. In that price range. You think I'm going to be more pr- pr- productive with this little battery that's attached to my hip? Well, and you also have to have, like, Apple products to take advantage of the productivity stuff. Yeah. So you can't use your video editor in the the headset yeah, unless Final you Cut have Pro. unless you have your Mac in front of you connected to it, right? So that's another two grand. So let's say you cash in on this all-in ecosystem right now you're talking about at least five to six grand minimum yeah and then if you want the apple phone to go with it that's another thousand dollars so weak i just want to play games man if i'm gonna do productive shit i'm just gonna have a computer to do it on that's it i just want to do the shit that i want and not the stuff that i don't want and the funny thing is like people playing ping pong with the headset on and you're like, why would you ever do? I mean, they're just testing how good the pass through is most of the time. See, like how, you know, how good the reaction is to things, and it works. But realistically, you're not gonna be wearing that headset when you're fucking doing real life shit. Oh, dude, because you know the smell on that. Thing? Oh, dude, it's gonna stink so bad. Yucky. Yeah, headset sweat is a real thing. Ultimately, you guys do what you want with your money. But I'm not going to be surprised if I start seeing uh, used ones on the market here within the next like six months or so where people are like, well, I thought it would be it was a cool thing at first, but I don't really use it that much. And that kind of happens with every headset, to be honest. Like if you go on Facebook Marketplace, you can probably find a Quest 3 like barely used for probably like 300 bucks. Yeah. Someone in Hawaii Kai is like, I got this for Christmas. Y- yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a couple months after Christmas now, so you're going to start seeing more and more of that shit pop up. And the same thing is going to happen with the Vision Pro. It'll be like six months down the road. You'll find them on, on eBay for probably like two grand. What I really want is a suspension sh- setup for my Yoda. I, I didn't return it in. I didn't return it within the 14-day window, so I'm just selling it now for cheap. You know, I'm, I guarantee there's going to be a ton of that shit. Still runs Cherry. Still runs Cherry. <laughs> Still had the box. <laughs> If you don't like it, return it, for God's sake. It might be cool if you want to, like, watch a movie in bed while your wife sleeps <laughs> or something. No. Just roll over the side and watch your iPad like a fucking normal. Because <laughs> we don't have a TV in our room. Yeah. But we both have, like, iPads. We'll either watch them together, like, rest it on my fucking gut or something. Or just roll the side, watch your own thing. Like a normal. Or a fucking TV, like a normal. It'd be kind of weird, right? Like, waking up to seeing your spouse doing this. like, <laughs> You know? Moving stuff around. So dumb. They won't be doing this, though, because you can't watch porn on it. What if I'm playing craft? 